What's up, my friend? I love Sister Fina D coming to you all from Vina Tina News. Okay, so as promised, I'm back. So I'm just going to make this one short and quick. I was supposed to post a detailed video of the interview that Candy did on the Wendy Williams show. One video, one and done. But I had things to do and I had to cut it up into, you know, different segments because trying to upload the longer videos sometimes just take forever. So I talked about the whole Kenya Moore and Michael and Candy saying that Kenya read him. That video is up. Click one of the links in the description below with the title next to it to watch that video if you missed it. I also posted one where he talked about Portia being the greatest housewife, whatever. You heard what he said. Go ahead and watch that one as well if you missed it. This is the part where Candy talked about her future at Bravo. And with this answer, that's basically all you need. She did not have to address the rumors and be like, oh, I heard I got fired and this person is replacing me. No, she just talked about her future there. And based on her answer, that's basically all you need to know about anything else. So let's get into that. There's rumors going around. I mean, this rumor was very hilarious, okay? I even talked about it and said, come on now. Really, if Kenny ever leaves the Real Housewives of Atlanta, it will be on her own terms and because she wants to and not because she got fired. I said that in the previous video I did on this topic. So when Michael asked her, you know about her new show and bravo and all of that she basically said in summary she loves bravo she have an amazing relationship with them she's not going anywhere she's basically riding with bravo until the wheels fall off i will ride with bravo too if they keep giving me all of these shows giving me the royal treatment i'm not the villain they're not editing me to make me look like the witch or monster of the show anything i bring to the show they give it 100 percent most of the times when people have events and things that they're doing bravo focus on the event and then sometimes they just focus on the drama so the message gets lost in the mess you have this powerful moment going on here will show the public the arguments that happened so now whatever you are selling promoting no longer matters because all the public and the audience can talk about is the argument that doesn't happen at Candy event. Even if there's a disagreement, we get to see Candy and Todd getting out of the car. We get to see them walking towards the restaurant. We get to see the slow motion of the entire building, the interior. You know, the we get to see everything i mean the free promotion the attention the detail you will fully understand from start to finish that this is a candy and todd production bravo takes care of them so of course if i had that type of relationship with bravo where am i going to go exactly so candy says she's riding until the wheels fall off I get it. People are saying, oh, Candy was allegedly going to sue Bravo because of the whole situation with Phaedra and Portia. And, you know, there were certain things signed or set in place, you know, in order for her not to sue. Then Bravo is going to give you this and the third. Whatever the stories are, if I had such an amazing relationship with a network and they're paying me allegedly almost two point something to three million dollars you know to just be there uh yeah I i'll be there too <laughs> candy also said that after all of these years her husband and mama joyce are still having their moments when she was asked about the relationship she said it's better but it could be better and you heard a hesitation in her voice and i'm just like these people have been married for almost a decade like lady <laughs> you know like leave your daughter marriage alone i'm glad that through it all you know she was able to work it out with her husband like that's not cool at all but she said yes her mom is still you know having her moments with todd but it's getting better i guess we shall see on the show before i talk about what she had to say about her issues with Milo, remember if you choose not to watch candy show do it because you plan on not watching it anyways and not because of what happened a few days ago because that's exactly what that person want that person wanted to cause division wanted to trigger people 
yes this woman celebrating her new show during interviews and all of that and someone who is pretending to oh i like you be my friend again i care about you so i'm promoting your show intentionally posted something and did something to trigger people and cause division i have seen so many tweets dms comments of people who rock with kenya saying i'm not watching the show anymore people going in i'm not watching it that's exactly what that person wanted if you want to support candy support candy don't allow that old interview to cloud your judgment from supporting her remember when kenya was on dancing with the stars yes candy had her moments where her friendship with kenya can be questionable but i'm fair candy was on instagram live for an hour plus okay she watched the entire episode of dancing with the stars she encouraged her supporters to vote for kenya she sat there because she did not know when kenya was going on so she stayed there and watched the entire thing she's very supportive so if you rock with kenya and you are someone who just want to support the show go ahead and support it don't say i'm not watching it because of something her mother said years ago he said that of course she and milo had fallen out but they reconnected we knew that already when the speculation went out candy did that sit down and said that she just went in on someone we said it was between milo and drew but mostly probably milo of course kenya name was thrown in there and i said absolutely not it's not kenya it's Milo, between Milo and Drew, but probably Milo, so we were right. Uh, you know, she went in on Milo, but they were able to fix it. Of course, Milo is going to fix the issue with Candy. It's Candy. Of course, she's going to fix it. Also, Milo is trying to keep her peach, okay? Because if I remember correctly, Candy, Kenya Moore, they were like, look, yes, absolutely give Milo a peach. It's been a long time. She deserved it. Yes, they were very kind and they said that. One of the women that Milo still supports and referred to as her sister sat in interviews and said, absolutely not. Do not give her a peach. I am not going to insert that clip in here. Most of you have seen that Instagram live interview over and over again. So I'm not going to say it. Go to the RHOA playlist on this channel to watch that of course she's gonna make up with candy and you know do everything in her power to have a second season you know with a peach but anyways i'm wishing all of you an amazing weekend be safe and take care the end of here my friend i love thank you all for your love and support if you're not subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe to the channel go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up also turn on notifications so when i do post you where they're posted and i will see you all in the comment section remember to always have the god bless attitude which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation have a great day guys god bless